Last time on Sailing Doodles, Laura went undercover and we explored the Musket Cove Resort. In this episode, we have an amazing day until things go horribly, horribly wrong. Follow along on our journey as we sail 15,000 miles in just 10 months from Canada to Thailand, and we can't do this without the support of our patrons. Thank you so much. It's a pretty nice day. We needed this. We needed a good uh, week on land and air conditioning. I feel reset. Yeah, I could say another week. She's like, no, I gotta go. Yeah, it's time to go. All right, well, let's go play. Let's on go. The water. A few last minute preps and some cleaning, and we were ready to head out. We headed north from Musket Cove with a quick stop at Mana Island when the wind picked up, and then further north to Vanua Levu. While we were headed out of the bay, the Google Super Yacht was headed into the bay and sent their tender over to make sure we stayed out of their way. Didn't quite mean to be here, but the wind gusted over 20 while we were, actually it was steady, steady over 20. We we're like, screw it, let's just pull in here. It's a nice safe harbor and we'll go up the island later on. Were you talking about your haircut? Yeah, it's great, right? <laughs> I told you I'd fix it. Bobby, nobody likes a whiner. The Survivor helicopter was filming as we headed for some shore time. Laura has become quite the activist for clean oceans and is doing her part. The next morning in a little bit calmer weather, we headed north to Vanua Levu. It's a beautiful, uninhabited island where they occasionally film movies and TV. So while we are down here cooking, the new crew member is up here. Contemplating. I'm gonna feed the fish soon. I think they'll be excited. It is a bit of a rolly anchorage, I will say that. But it's beautiful though. It was a tough ride to get here too. She thought that was a tough ride getting here. It's gonna be worse. Yeah, that wasn't very bad. Oh god. You know how Laura is with animals, and we've spotted goats on the hills over there, so. After lunch, she's gonna go goat exploring for sure. I just hope she doesn't catch one. She'll try to bring it back to the boat. The tide was out, so it made landing the dinghy a little awkward, but we made do. And there she goes, off exploring. Mm -hmm. 
Traipsing through the jungles of in Fiji is the rare orange velvet monkey. I will track it down. Ah, there she is. They get they get spooked very easy. You have to sneak up on them. The way to entice them is with alcohol and pearls. They really love those. All right, I've got her cornered. I think she went up a tree. She might have thought there was beer up there, but uh, I think I've got her. Here she is. <laughs> That's a big bird. That's a bat. That's a bat. That was huge. Do you see that? Oh my god. That thing was this big. Seriously? That it was a bat. It had freaking things on the end of its wings. Like fingers on the edges. It was huge. Aren't they supposed to be in caves? Add that to the thing, list of things that uh, Laura is afraid of is now bats. They're snakes. They're bigger than goats. Bats. Are. Yeah. I mean, it sounded, whatever it was, it was big. I didn't see it. You're afraid of eating oysters. Uh, well, <laughs> who likes eating oysters? Seriously, that was a bat. Like, that bat was si bigger than a chihuahua. Oh, here he is. Look at him. He's coming back. I've never seen a bat that big. Wanna have a hermit crab race? This one feels like a winner. Oh, he's waking up. Oh God. See? He ain't scared. You thought we were kidding about the bats. No, we're not kidding about the bats. I'm pretty sure it's a bat skull. Look at that. That has gotta be a bat skull. Or somebody's just gone batty, Bobby. That's a bat skull. It's got like freaking horns on it. One thing that's in abundance in the South Pacific are coconuts. Lightning strikes by my window. It's my chest right in the morning. That uh, eel was not quite as uh, friendly as the last eel we had, or saw. Nope. Like a, like, I can see maybe like 10%, you know? I mean, it's just because it's so like foggy. So we are hauling butt back over the mainland of Fiji and uh, we're gonna go to the hospital and see what they say. I think it's a burn. 
because you can see the burns right here and it went straight up my eye so I think it's burned uh, I don't know uh, what they do for that so uh, best case scenario I wear an eye patch for a few weeks worst case I wear it forever so we shall see